In this video, we will discuss the X-linked, Bruton, a gamma globulinemia, XLA. We will cover the key points for the USMLE Step 1, and then have some questions at the end. If you have not subscribed and liked it yet, please do so. That will help me a lot. Thank you and let's proceed. X-linked, Bruton, a gamma globulinemia is an X-linked recessive disorder that occurs almost exclusively in males in X chromosome. It is caused by a defect in the BTK gene, which encodes for a tyrosine kinase essential for B-cell maturation and differentiation. XLA presents clinically with recurrent bacterial and enteroviral infections after six months of age, once maternal egg levels have declined. In the absence of functional BTK, B-cells fail to develop beyond the pre-B-cell stage, leading to a complete absence of mature B-cells in the peripheral blood and lymphoid tissues. Lack of B-cells also results in a severe deficiency of all classes of immunoglobulins. The absence of functional B-cells leads to a complete lack of immunoglobulins of all classes. Due to the lack of protective immunity, live vaccines are contraindicated in individuals with XLA. Common infections are caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenza, Streptococcus pyogenes, and Pseudomonas. The findings of XLA are, absent B-cells in peripheral blood, serum immunoglobulin levels will be significantly reduced or absent. Absent, scanty lymph nodes and tonsils, 1 degree follicles and germinal centers absent, life vaccines contraindicated. Diagnosis and management. Peripheral blood lymphocyte analysis will show absent or significantly reduced B-cells. Serum immunoglobulin levels will be significantly reduced or absent. Molecular genetic testing can confirm the diagnosis. Treatment consists of lifelong immunoglobulin replacement therapy to provide protective antibodies. Prophylactic antibiotics may also be necessary to prevent recurrent infections. Bone marrow transplantation may be curative in some cases. Can you remember all those? Let's try a few questions. This is an easy one. What is the primary cause of X-linked Bruton A. Gamma a mutation in the A gene. B. Defect in the BTK gene. C. Absence of T cells D. Overproduction of immunoglobulins. The answer is, B. Defect in the BTK gene. How about this one? Which of the following is a common site of infection in patients with X-linked, Bruton, A. Gamma globulinemia? A. Upper respiratory tract. B. Lower respiratory tract. C. Urinary tract. D. Gastrointestinal tract. Answer, B. Lower respiratory tract. Patients with XLA are susceptible to recurrent bacterial infections, with the lower respiratory tract being a common site of infection. Due to its anatomical structure and exposure to a wide range of microorganisms including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and other pathogens, through inhalation of contaminated air and aspiration of upper respiratory tract secretions. Another easy one. Which of the following laboratory findings is characteristic of XLA? A. Elevated serum immunoglobulin levels. B. Absent or reduced B cells in peripheral blood. C. Increased T cell counts. D. Abnormalities in complement proteins. The answer is, B. Absent or reduced B cells in peripheral blood. XLA is characterized by a defect in B cell maturation, resulting in the absence or significant reduction of B cells in peripheral blood and lymphoid tissues. Try this one. Which of the following is a potential complication of immunoglobulin replacement therapy in patients with XLA? A. Autoimmune disease. B. Neurological damage. C. Hypersensitivity reactions. D. Increased risk of infection. The answer is, C. Hypersensitivity reactions. Immunoglobulin replacement therapy is the mainstay of treatment for XLA, but it can cause hypersensitivity reactions in some patients, including anaphylaxis, hives, and fever. A four-year-old boy is brought to the hospital by his parents due to a fever, chills, and weakness. The child has a history of recurrent bacterial infections, including otitis media, sinusitis, and pneumonia. His mother reports that he has been unwell for the past few days, and his symptoms have been progressively worsening. Upon physical examination, the child has a temperature of 39.2 degrees Celsius, a pulse of 120 beats per minute, and respiratory rate of 28 breaths per minute. 
His chest examination reveals crackles on auscultation. Blood cultures are drawn, and the child is started on intravenous antibiotics. Laboratory testing shows a white blood cell count of 8,000 per microliter, with a normal differential count. Serum immunoglobulin levels are significantly reduced, with absent EGA, AG, and IM. Flow cytometry of peripheral blood reveals absent or significantly reduced B cells. Molecular genetic testing confirms a diagnosis of X linked, Bruton, A gammaglobulinemia. Which of the following is the most appropriate management strategy for this patient? A. Discharge home with oral antibiotics. B. Hospitalization for intravenous antibiotics and supportive care. C. Referral to a genetic counselor for family planning. D. Observation and supportive care only. The answer is, B. Hospitalization for intravenous antibiotics and supportive care. Patients with X-linked Bruton, A gamma globulinemia are at increased risk for severe and life-threatening bacterial infections, and prompt treatment with intravenous antibiotics and supportive care is necessary. The absence of immunoglobulins and B cells makes this patient particularly susceptible to recurrent infections, and therefore discharge home with oral antibiotics or observation without treatment is not appropriate. Referral to a genetic counselor may be appropriate for family planning purposes, but immediate management of the patient's infection is the priority. The choice of antibiotics, regular IV infusions, for the treatment of bacterial infections in patients with X-linked, Bruton, a gamma globulinemia depends on the type of infection and the susceptibility of the causative organism. Empiric treatment with broad-spectrum antibiotics is usually recommended until the causative organism and its susceptibility pattern are identified. In general, antibiotics that provide broad-spectrum coverage against a variety of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria are used. Commonly used antibiotics for the treatment of bacterial infections in patients with X-linked, Bruton, A gamma globulinemia include Penicillins, such as amoxicillin, ampicillin. Cephalosporins, such as ceftriaxone, cefotaxime. Macrolides, such as azithromycin, clarithromycin. Fluoroquinolones, such as ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin. In severe infections or in cases where resistance is suspected, combination therapy with multiple antibiotics may be necessary. The choice of antibiotics and duration of therapy should be individualized based on the patient's clinical presentation, laboratory findings, and susceptibility testing of the causative organism. This is the last question. A six-year-old boy is referred to the immunology clinic for evaluation of recurrent infections. The patient has a history of frequent bacterial infections, including otitis media, sinusitis, and pneumonia. On physical examination, he is noted to have absent tonsils and lymph nodes. Laboratory testing reveals absent or significantly reduced levels of all classes of immunoglobulins, as well as absent or significantly reduced numbers of B cells in peripheral blood. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Common variable immunodeficiency. B. Hyper IgM syndrome. C. D. George syndrome. D. X linked A gamma globulinemia. Answer is D. X-linked A gamma globulinemia. This patient's history of recurrent bacterial infections, absent tonsils and lymph nodes, and laboratory findings of absent or significantly reduced levels of all classes of immunoglobulins and B cells in peripheral blood are characteristic of XLA. The diagnosis is often based on clinical features and laboratory findings, including low or absent levels of serum immunoglobulins and absent or significantly reduced B cells in peripheral blood. Common variable immunodeficiency, A, typically presents in adulthood and has a more variable clinical and laboratory presentation. Hyper IgM syndrome, C, is characterized by elevated levels of IM and reduced levels of other immunoglobulin classes, and D. George syndrome, C, is associated with thymic hypoplasia and T cell deficiency. Thank you so much for watching. Please watch other immunodeficiencies videos. And, please subscribe, comment, and like. Don't forget to share this video with your classmates. See you in the next video.